Hi folks, this is Jay. I hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're going to be looking at um, evidence for the resurrection. Um, we're going to be looking at a booklet that I've written and I'll be putting it out as a PDF next year sometime. And uh, it'll also be sent to a publisher, so look out for it and uh, hope it's a blessing to you. Evidence for the Resurrection of Christ by J. Burns. Um, we'll just pray before I read it out. Uh, I'll read it in sections of a few minutes each and uh, hope it's a blessing to you. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your goodness and your love and your grace and we give you the praise and the glory and the honour. We thank you for your kindness and love today and we pray that you bless these videos today, Lord, in your name. Amen. Okay, so it says, By his power God raised the Lord from the dead, and he will raise us also. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15. What do you think is the meaning to life? What motivates you in life? These are big questions and important questions, but the most important question we can ask is, What do you think of Christ? Many people uh, think Jesus is a fairy tale and has no relevance for today. Some think science and reason have debunked Christianity and some have turned to Islam as the answer to the problems of the day and many are trying the cults like the Mormons and the Jehovah's Witnesses um, etc. Some uh, turn into witchcraft and Satan and uh, Satanism has become popular uh, with the young Easter religions of an appeal to more mystical mindset. In the midst of all this Many people are just confused and bewildered. Now I would like to ask you to be open-minded as we consider the, this point. If Jesus really lived, really died and really rose from the dead, that means he is the Messiah, the Son of God. And if he is the Son of God, that means we, shall, we should give him our loyalty and faith. It means Jesus Christ comes first above all the claims of religions, cults, science or philosophy. He alone is the one we must put our trust in. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14:6. Are we willing to consider the possibility that we might be wrong on this issue? Alright, we'll come to the next part 